Number 11 has four reactions for us to complete in balance. The first reaction is aluminum reacts with water. I have a pure element plus a compound. This is a single displacement reaction. With the single displacement reactions involving water, this is where I need to be really careful. When I'm reacting water in a single displacement reaction, I need to view it as hydrogen hydroxide. When the aluminum combines with the water, it's gonna, the aluminum's gonna attach to the negative ion. Aluminum becomes a plus three. The negative ion in water is hydroxide, which is a minus one. So my first product is aluminum hydroxide. Now that the hydrogen has been kicked out and it's alone, it is H2. This reaction is one of the trickier ones to balance. I have three hydrogens and two, I'm sorry, three hydroxides and two hydrogens. I'm going to run myself into a circle where I have an odd number and an even number here. The, when I have difficulty re balancing a reaction like this, I put a two in front of the first thing and then I proceed. Two aluminums, two aluminums. Now I have six hydroxides, six hydroxides. Six hydrogens, six hydrogens. The second reaction is an acid carbonate reaction. When I have an acid carbonate reaction, I automatically know that two of my products are carbon dioxide and water. Nitric acid is HNO3, hydrogen with nitrate. Sodium carbonate, sodium is a plus one, carbonate is a minus two, sodium carbonate is Na2CO3. When this reaction proceeds, the carbon dioxide and the water come from the hydrogen and the carbonate. So my third product, or what we call the leftovers, is going to be the combination of the sodium and the nitrate. Sodium's a plus one, nitrate's a minus one. My third product is NaNO3. This reaction's not currently balanced. I have one hydrogen, two hydrogens. Now I have two nitrates, two nitrates, two sodiums, two sodiums, and we're good. The third reaction, sodium hydroxide is heated. When I see heated, that's telling me this is a decomposition. This is a decomposition of a hydroxide, making it one of our special reactions that like the acid carbonate, you have a clue to on your reaction cheat sheet. Sodium hydroxide is NaOH. When a hydroxide is heated, we start with a metal hydroxide, we end with a metal oxide plus water. Metal oxide, sodium is my metal. So, so on the right, I'm gonna have sodium, which is a plus one, combining with oxygen, which is a minus two. That product will be Na2O. This reaction is not yet balanced. Two sodiums on the right, I'll put a two here. Two oxygens, I have a total of two oxygens. Two hydrogens, I have two hydrogens, we're good. The last reaction, strontium nitrate dissolves in water. When we have a dissolving reaction, I don't use water as part of my reaction. I'm starting with a compound and I'm gonna break it into ions. So for this reaction, strontium nitrate is SrNO3-2. It will break into Sr plus two and nitrate. I will need two nitrates. With a dissolving reaction, you never get diatomics on the right-hand side. We need to show our charges, and we don't break apart our polyatomic ions.